Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. As we eagerly await the release of Sim Update 7, I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know that the OpenXR has just been updated and is now at version 108.2109.21002. This is relevant to all Reverb G2 users and is available for download on the Windows Store. On the same day, the NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready driver has also been updated to version 496.76. What's interesting about this driver is that NVIDIA are introducing their image scaling tool. For the past two years, NVIDIA has offered a driver-based spatial upscaler called NVIDIA Image Scaling and Sharpening that didn't require game or SDK integrations to work. With this new driver, they've improved the scaling and sharpening algorithm to now use a six-tap filter with four directional scaling and adaptive sharpening filters to boost performance. They've also added an in-game sharpness slider, accessible via the GeForce Experience app, as well as the NVIDIA control panel. This is something that I'm going to be looking at more post Sim Update 7, but I thought I'd mention it now because it looks like it could be helpful in terms of VR performance. This is my first quick look at using both, and so far the results are good. I'm noticing very smooth gameplay, so that's good news so far. I will do a full updated settings video, as well as my initial reactions to the update, in the coming days, once I've had some time to fly and retest it all. I'm not expecting huge leaps in VR performance with Sim Update 7, but I am keen to see how this new update helps in terms of smoothness and clarity, especially in combination with the implementation of DX12. Here you can see my OpenXR settings. I do have the latest preview runtime on, and my custom render scale is set to 100%, and as always, motion reprojection is disabled. You may already know this, but if you have the preview turned on, OpenXR updates automatically, so you may find you're already running this version. But I do think it's worth checking the update in the Windows Store too, and I want to make sure you're aware of that. And please do let me know if you've noticed any difference in the VR performance over the past day or so due to this update. I'm really keen to hear what you guys are experiencing as well. I hope everything goes smoothly with the update tomorrow. Just remember to empty your community folder as you install it. And I reckon it's worth being patient with the servers because as we know, they always get clogged during these updates. So if your sim isn't performing perfectly immediately, just give it a few days for the service to calm down and for everyone to get updated. As always guys, I hope this video helps you get dialed in. And if you're interested in learning more about how to improve the sounds in Microsoft Flight Simulator, check out my video about FS Realistic. It's a great add-on which drastically improves the overall sim experience in terms of sound. As always, I hope you find this content useful I look forward to making the next video soon. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it useful, as it helps other simmers too. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care and stay safe.